I'm grateful to God for the protection and care that He's bestowed on every member of our faith community, for the gift of families, for the health that He has blessed each one of us with, and most important, for hope that keeps us going. He is angel because He is angel and God kept me safe and my brother and sister and mom and my friends is safe. I am grateful though I fail, but God has always been good to me. In this economically lockdown situation, He gave me two ways. One, work for His cause. Another, how to strengthen our company financially. Really, all evidences are teaching us. Being with God always is a victory. There are so many things which I am grateful for this life. The fact that I'm still breathing. Uh, I have a place to stay. I don't have to go hungry. I still have my job. I'm grateful for my parents, uh, my friends and families who are staying safe out there. Let us always make God first in our life and let's continue to pray for each other like we always have been doing. Thankful even though the coronavirus is dead, we can play outside. I thank the Lord for having been with me right through the pandemic so far. I praise Him for the health and strength He has given me. I have not had any stress due to this. I have not been out at all. But I am happy that the Lord is taking care of me. And I am truly grateful for this. He has done a great thing by allowing me to change my diet radically and I am feeling much better. I would like to thank God for all His providence and being by my side throughout. Without Him, it would have been impossible. And I also would like to thank all of you as a church to have continued to pray for me. May God bless you all. Thank you, Father, for creating families. Thank you for giving me more family a part of you. Oh, me. I'm thankful for, uh, I thank God for uh, keeping me and my family safe, even though we are all in different places, but still he has kept us safe under his wings. I want to thank God for the time that he has given us and the opportunity to know him better. It's like a long Sabbath. For so many days we've been having a rest and that's so beautiful. No school and no exam. We thank God for our newfound family togetherness and for the timely job I found during the lockdown. That is a wonderful chef. I was really thinking during this time that we spent in the house with the pandemic that happened all of a sudden and I realized that how much time we really give to God. We should be giving more because we have so many things to do. But it is Him that we are grateful to, even that this pandemic happened. So we now realize that God, you are great. You have given us to live. You have given us to ponder upon what you have done for us, even at this period. I'm glad I can spend time with my family. Sometimes I don't know how to pray. I don't know what to say and I just don't know what to do. I'm grateful for the Holy Spirit who helps me to pray according to God's perfect will. Of late, I've been treating a boy who fell down from a terrace and who's recovering from a head injury. I want to thank God for keeping me safe all through this time as I go to his home and travel every day and give him therapy. I'm so happy that we can attend Sabbath school even though we can't come to church. Yeah, it's really been good. God has kept us well. He's given us everything that we needed during these hard days. Everything is going on well and thanks for all your prayers and good wishes. In spite of all that you hear the news about US, it's so good here for us. Thank God for His goodness and mercy upon us. Keep faith, keep trusting the Lord. They never fail us. Time where so many people are losing their jobs, I am very grateful to God that I have a salary at the end of the month. I thank God for good health, good family and spend more time with God. I get more rest and have hope 
online classes are there. Uh, I'm thankful for uh, God's protection as I'm staying alone for the past 50 days and also for uh, the rest that I'm getting every day I sleep for more than 12 hours. Thank you. During this lockdown, one thing I'm really happy about is that our plans for buying a new car did not materialize. I'm grateful to God for giving me food, shelter and keeping me safe and my family and my loved ones safe.